Your mother called again yesterday. I couldn't answer. I was lying on the couch, realizing the cell is vibrating, and I go to answer, but... But then I back down. I can't. Something's stopping me. My body resists. It's as though some... Someone takes my hand, stops me, and says, don't. I don't know. What would we talk about? Should I, should I tell her where we're going? Should I ask her if she changed the tablecloths? If she's made herself a Facebook profile? Or should I just keep quiet and answer? Or just keep quiet? I realize I got stuck in a living room amongst the papers. Then I continuously browse through them, turning them over and over again, just, you know, just reading them. I reached the fifth or sixth page. All these manuscripts look brilliant and amazing at the moment. Then in the next moment, I burned them all, leaving not a single trace of them. Your brothers are constantly around here. The younger ones doing great with music. They're, they're both working like crazy. Victor, I actually read since he regularly publishes some cool articles. We should have gone to Dvorsky's house. Robbie needed some help with assembling a closet or something, and, and Senka seems to have some issues at work. She probably just wanted to get it off her chest. Tammy called too. She, she's thinking about changing gender and sticking with girls. I've also seen the quiet one in the passage. Every time we meet, he lowers his head as, as though he's ashamed of something. And the neighbor Joseph still shouts throughout the night, same as before. <laughs> He's a loud dreamer. I think you can hear him all the way the street. You know that feeling when you catch yourself in a certain moment and it appears as though it's not you? Both space and time and the arrangement of things around you. Your thoughts are louder than you. While well, you are not thinking about anything in particular. Everything's familiar, but then, but then somehow it just feels like it's not you, like life's happening to someone else. You know, I catch myself doing things and having no clue what I'm actually trying to do. Some things I never noticed before just stick to me. And now everything has turned upside down. Seems stupid without meaning or purpose, but then it still reminds me. phone rings and I look, but not at one particular point, I, I look at nothing. Then I get myself into your favorite dress, the one that's skin tight on my body, and then I take the great trench coat and parade in front of the mirror, <laughs> alone. I'm making funny faces, behaving stupidly like a teenager. <laughs> Remember that story I was telling you about the shit that happened at work and uh, you had your earphones on? Or when you fell asleep on me and I talked to you and confessed like an idiot before realizing that your breathing had changed to a slow sleeping rhythm. And your nose hair was sticking out when you told me how proud you were of me when I go barefoot. And then how after showering you don't dry your legs, you parade around the apartment naked and leave wet traces. God, I could kill you. And when you tell me that I've got to have wings and that I should fall in love, you can't do that to me. I have to go cross country to see my sister. I feel like I have to break something. Actually, I don't know what I want to do. I have the urge to walk. Hi, Daida. Fala bobo. I zatvori vrata za sobom. Si ti stana nisi normalna. Zašto imaš taj prokleti mobitel? Stvarno mi nije jasno. Nikad se ne javljaš na njega. Ni, ili ti je isključen, ili ti je... Ili ti je prazan, ili se ne javljaš. Mislim, više nisam znala koga da zovem. Policiju, bolnicu, šta li. Četiri sata te čekam, ženo. Stvarno nisi normalna. Dobro, ne važno. Pragu je važno. Mislim, stvarno te ne mogu čekat. Četiri sata te čekam, čovječe. Mogla sam odradit dva džaka. Češ kavu? 
Ja neću, popila sam već tri litre. Slušaj, ako više ne želiš da ti nalazim deto, onda mi to reci. Stvarno ne razumim da ovaj zadnji tip je bio odličan, taj Marije. Super tip je zgodan, pametan, radi, ima para. Nije... Mi smo ostavila si ga sama u loži, čovječe. Otišla si van, čovjek me zove, uopće ne zna di si. Mislim, prošla je već... So then I start playing Fade No More and Patrice Cave, Springsteen and Sade and Cowboy Junkies and Maisie Star and Cat Power. And then I start driving myself around town at night. I don't follow the rhythm. I just play the music. I make the whole circle, the train station, then, then around the university and the cops naturally pull me over. <laughs> Miss, have you been drinking? <laughs> and then the radio turns off that RDS or whatever, and after the service info, they play because of you. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck you, and fuck your friend Iger, and your company, and, and these gentle songs. You promised that, that you introduce us, but there was always something else in the way. Do you know how many times while alone that I watched before midnight and her? I guess it's better left as a rhetorical question. <laughs> Why the fuck do I personally have to go through all the scenes of P.S. I love you? Couldn't we have chosen a, a less pathetic path? I keep thinking there's a movie that turns back time aside from Superman. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Superman. Do you hear me? Why do I keep telling you all of this? Why can't I just say goodbye and be on my way? But your laughter and the way you can be serious and your texting and video messages your indecipherable messages. Every time I read them, it seems like you're saying goodbye, but... but you're not saying it. You know what's gotten on my nerves the most? What really irritated the shit out of me? <laughs> is that I can't be angry with you. I can't be angry for real because then we get in an argument and then... then a fully blown fight and then you take me, push me against the wall and then we'd see if makeup sex is really better... <laughs> when it's with the one you love the most in the world. There's a game or something related to sports on TV. I just keep it on, 
the English attention to it. And yes, yes, the song you gave me, the one I should come up with a name for, the one saying what people do when they disappear, call it since you're gone or vanishing. I don't get why you write the way you write. Why do you skip and jump over so many parts? And how do you make my tears start whenever I read it? How do I hear everything you think? Why do I know how you breathe in the moment? Why do I feel your breath? Yo, you fool.